yo welcome people welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time stopping by please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos actually make sure you hit that bell as well because i don't want you guys to miss any of my videos because i'm going to come up with so much content like i really want you guys to see it and i don't want you guys to miss it so yeah make sure you hit that subscribe button anyways as you can see by the title of this video um, this video is going to be about the time a random asked me to be his wolf prostitute and you know let me not even spoil it for you but you know I anyways I'm gonna just make sure you stay tuned so I decided to stay at my best friend's house till late and I left around 12 12 11 I can't really remember the exact time but it was quite late for me at the time and this was in November so it was really 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 dark so I to be honest I had a funny feeling that I would get you know stared at or people being weird to me but it's nothing new so um, there's a busy road that my best friend lives next to and that's where I have to get my bus so I went to the bus stop now I get to the bus stop and the bus stop is right next to a Portuguese cafe slash club so that's where a lot of men hang around so it's quite scary for a young girl to be hanging around those times by themselves so I was at the bus stop and this Portuguese guy this nice looking Portuguese light skinned <laughs> Portuguese guy here yeah, um, approached me and you know he was talking to me all nice like where are you from this this that this ain't unusual for me also because I do get a lot of random people talking to me and I'm quite a bubbly person so I don't mind so he was talking to me saying oh where are you from you're beautiful this that and I was like well I'm, I'm trying to head home to be honest with you <laughs> I don't want to stand and chat and my bus was taking forever for some reason like why does it have to be dark and November at times and it's cold and my bus has to take forever? I'm standing around by myself. Um, but, you know, I had this guy that had to keep me company, which was good, you know. And, um, you know, he had someone with him. He wasn't really talking much, but he was just there. And I felt like it was kind of suspicious for me because, like, why are you with him and you're not talking to, like, me as well? You know and he wasn't his friend he told me that you know he just met him today so it was just basically like following him like a little puppy but this guy he looked like he was like my dad's age my dad bearing in mind my dad's around late 50s <laughs> so it's like come on why are you hanging with young people like like that but um fast forward now the bus finally comes. I'm saying my goodbyes to this guy that kept me company. And I look behind and this guy is going on the bus as well. So I didn't think anything of it. You know, he's going he's going the same way as me. So whatever. So I go upstairs now and I sit down upstairs in the top deck. And it's only me and this other guy and the rest of the top deck is empty. So, when he comes to sit next to me now, I'm thinking, excuse me, why are you sitting next to me when there's empty seats around? Like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> come on. If you're from London, by the way, if you are from London and you take buses often and basically there's empty seats around, nobody's gonna sit next to you it's quite weird for someone to sit next to you because pe people usually like their personal space you know like why would you want to come and sit next to a stranger but anyway let's that's a different yeah anyway um so i'm thinking why is he, this guy sitting next to me i hope he's not following me so just to see if he was following me what i did is when i was closer to my stop right when I got closer to my stop, I went downstairs, acted like I was going to get off the bus. But this guy, you know, he followed me downstairs and I thought to myself, 
okay maybe i might be going crazy like okay maybe he just lives around <laughs> me i've never seen this guy before but maybe he just lives around <laughs> uh, my area so i thought you know what just to see if he's following me let me get off a stop before mine and see if he gets off as well and i got off i did that and he got off as well so i thought to myself you know what i'm gonna confront this guy because this is this is too much this is her well it's not harassment but it's like you're stalking me and it's very uncomfortable so i, I said to him and he was we were the only two that got off that stop so um i said to him what's wrong what's wrong with you why are you following me what the hell um and he said to me he said to me no it's not what he said it's what he did actually he um put his hand in his pocket pulled out his wallet and took pa took out a 20 pound note and said oh i've never had someone like you before and i was like excuse me what what and then i was like you're disgusting you're a disgusting man how how can you say that stuff to me and to be honest with you as soon as i said that i didn't look back and i ran i literally ran to my house it was literally like a 10 minute walk which i made into two minutes because i was so scared literally i was so scared i'd even look back i was banging on the door i told i when well, as soon as i got in i told my brother like it was really really scary um you know to think that an old man you know sees me as some fantasy or whatever like he can just buy for 20 pounds for 20 pounds what the hell like come on man that's disgusting and the thing is as well like nowadays i guess my advice to to other people who are vulnerable i'm not saying this to just disabled people the little people but anyone that's vulnerable who's small or whatever um who who's a woman or i don't know just anyone that's vulnerable basically if you are in a uncomfortable or or scary environment or place i think my advice to you is to you know have techniques so what i do now is if i feel like someone's following me if someone's like scaring me right now um i basically because my road is quite a long road um, if I feel like someone's behind me, I make sure I'm going into someone's like <laughs> front garden and pretending like I'm knocking, like it's my house or something, and then that kind of scares that person behind you off. Um, also, I'm lucky enough to have a little brother that protects me, so I call my brother if I'm on top of the road and I feel like someone's following me, I call him um, to come and walk me down. Um, also, my colleague funnily enough told me um there's a way of calling the police on um iphone so i didn't know this to be honest i'm sure many people don't know this if you press your lock button let me show you if you press your lock button five times you can call the police like real quick so yeah you see emergency services right there <laughs> so easy access basically but you know that concludes my story time make sure you stay safe people <laughs> and uh yeah you know i get i get into you know very vulnerable well not vulnerable i get into very uncomfortable situations sometimes with people or ignorant silly people and i'm sure i'm not the only one but yeah and make sure you guys comment like and subscribe to this uh video as well if you liked it and bye guys